Hi guys, welcome back to Beal Science. Look what I have made myself here. This is an edible water bottle. Now I don't know that it's gonna fully replace real water bottles, but the whole idea of this and the potential to replace real plastic water bottles really exists. This is something pretty cool. Here we go, let's try it out. Water. Here's what we need for this project. We need some sodium alginate and we need some calcium lactate. Now I've got a little more information on what these are later in the video. We're gonna start off with one cup of water so we can dissolve our sodium alginate. Got a helper here today. We're gonna use a quarter teaspoon of sodium alginate and put it in our cup of water. Now this doesn't dissolve very easily, so we tried to whip it up and finally we resorted to using a blender which worked really, really well. And now you can see we've got our sodium alginate dissolved in water. Hmm. Rub your finger together, how does it feel like? Oh, it's slimy. Then we need to get four cups of water. This is to dissolve our calcium lactate. We're gonna use one heaping teaspoon of the calcium lactate, which is about five grams. I'm going to whip that up in the blender to get it to dissolve and then I'm going to make a bath out of it. And here are the other supplies we need to start this project. So you got the sodium alginate. I'm going to take a tablespoon of it and I'm going to set it down in here into the calcium lactate. It's not in here anymore. You see it somewhere over there? Yeah, it's like a big blob. Okay, we're going to see if we can fish it out of here. <laughs> I've got this. Big now. Mm, I'm gonna eat it. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> Look, there's the shell. Isn't that interesting? Um. You can make several of the water balls or water bottles or whatever they are with this setup, not just one. And they always come out a little bit different every time. You want to try it, Rock? Sure. Chew it up. Tell us what it's like. <laughs> <laughs> How is it? Cool. Well, what's going on inside of here? as these edible water bottles are starting to take shape. Well, we've got the, the sodium alginate, which is derived from brown seaweed, and it's just a powder. Now what's gonna happen is that's mixed in with the water, and then we've got the calcium lactate. Now calcium lactate is a part of baking powder and many other things. Once it goes in there, it starts to build a gel layer between these two compounds, and as that gel layer forms, it traps the water inside. What I'd really like to have is a nice sphere. I think that would look way more cool than the blobs we're getting. So I've taken the sodium alginate and I've put it into these homemade molds to make this perfect sphere of the sodium alginate. And they've been in the freezer. And what I'm hoping is that we can get this nice, perfect, edible water bottle sphere. But I don't know, we're gonna find out together. Well, these have been freezing overnight and I'm just gonna remove the rubber bands and then remove the racquetball and then somehow peel the balloon off of here and it should have a nice sphere. There we go. Now remember that's sodium alginate. So I'm gonna put that in a jar and then I'm gonna add the calcium lactate so that the same thing happens but I'm gonna let the ice slowly melt which means hopefully I should get a nice round water ball. I gotta tell you this first one we started with is crazy feeling. You can see that gelled outside layer on there and it, it's all it's like a slushy snowball thing I don't know how this is gonna pan out but we'll just let them keep on soaking and find out in experimenting I found that 10 minutes is pretty good when you're just using the blobs with these ones you have to let all of the ice melt which takes a little bit longer in fact they were in for about an hour which gave them a very different consistency 
than the other ones. But edible water bottles, that's pretty incredible, really. I mean, think of the, think of the possibilities, think of the potential if this could be perfected. It could really revolutionize the world. Get rid of a whole lot of plastic and quench the thirst. Of a lot of people out there in the world, but I think the science of it's got a little ways to go. And leave me a comment down there. Let me know what you think or hit the subscribe button or check out any one of the other videos that are gonna pop up here any minute. But the real point of all these videos is this, to keep on learning.